Correction factor being north of 106. Horsepower is difficult right now. Dallas Glenn in the Rad Torque car on the left side. He's currently in the number 10 spot. And for Dallas Glenn, a very solid run through the first part of the year. But once we got into the countdown to the championship, seemed to have lost a little bit of the magic over there. And Fernando Quadra Jr., this Corral Boots car. Camaro skin for the Quadra boys in Circle G. Currently in the number eight position. You saw Richard Freeman. He's on the door down there for Junior on the right side. Trying to get him lined up to go right across those rosin spots. And Fernando missed it a bit. You saw the crew go out there and start rubbing it in with their feet. Trying to get him the optimal contact patch for the clutch drop. Dallas's car kind of climbed up on a tire and then rattled through second. He shoved the clutch back in. 659, 208.75 for Fernando Jr. Not bad. Not better. Dallas's car was off a little bit to 60 foot, and then by the time he got to where he should have been putting it in third gear, he put it in neutral. He ends up with a 12 second time, coasting at 71 miles an hour. Stay in the number 10 spot for now. For those of you that uh, don't speak dyno, we talk about the correction factor. That's a very important number coming into Pro Stock. Because when you put an engine on the dyno, you've got a number that you correct back to. 